Today I'm going to show you how to beat Galadon's Golem Gauntlet every single time. What's going on Clash Bashers, Rocky here today, and today we're going to be taking a look at Galadon's Golem Gauntlet. I'm going to show you guys how to beat this level. We're going to talk about the new scenery that's coming with it, and the new Royal Champion skin as well. But let's hop right into the challenge. We get three Super Wizards, three Golems, five Bowlers, four Super Bowlers, five Headhunters. We do have a Stone Slammer full of Bowlers, a couple Rages, uh, Freezes, Invis, Poison, Skeleton Spells. I'm going to show you guys how to beat this challenge stage every single time. And we're going to start at the bottom of this base on these three eagle artilleries so we're going to start off by selecting a super wizard and placing it here on the bottom rock on these eagle artilleries then you're going to select your headhunters you're going to put a headhunter there a headhunter there and a headhunter there to pull out all those tornado traps and pull out all those teslas now you're just going to let this super wizard work for about 45 seconds it's going to take a little bit but that's fine it's a good time to remind you guys to enter code bash if you're going to be buying this brand new primal scenery and the new primal royal champion skin available in the shop but be patient guys let him do his thing he'll be able to get out all three eagles get some damage on the teslas and be safe while doing it now once he gets through that other eagle he will be getting taken out but we want him to get this all down before we start the rest of our attack and it's going to move quickly so try to keep up all right guys so while he's working we can go ahead and select a golem because that's going to be our next unit down and he's going to get through right there so let's go with a golem here with two bowlers we're going to go with a golem here with two bowlers we're going to go with two super wizards right up there we're going to go with one headhunter here final golem and bowler two super bowlers two super bowlers king queen and warden over here all right we're working through here guys everything is in and we are working through the middle of the stage we're gonna go ahead and drop in our first rage and then we're just gonna start freezing and we're also going to poison these clan castle troops as they come out then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna rage through here again we're gonna freeze again we're just going to keep this all working through here. All right, guys? Just keep it all working through. We can go ahead and we can pop our king's ability as we're working towards that town hall. And again, just keep everything frozen and keep it all moving towards the town hall. And once that town hall goes down, go ahead and pop your warden ability. Throw your stone slammer here on the right. Okay? Nice. So let's go ahead and let's throw in our final freeze. Let's go ahead and poison these kings over here there's a bunch of kings over here we're gonna poison those guys just to help out a little bit we can actually even throw in an invis here if needed we're gonna throw in our royal champion here and then we're gonna throw in a skeleton spell right through there all right final headhunter is gonna come in here with the royal champion to help out on this king and we should be good from there guys our stone slammer did pop a little bit early here if you can keep the stone slammer up obviously the longer the better but we will still be fine here everything's cleared out through that side and we're working right through the end of the base just how we need to guys we got our queen we got our warden we got our royal champion all up and fine here we can pop that royal champion seeking shield to get through those last few defenses get a little bit of damage on the scatter shot, and then our final invis can be used to take out this scatter shot. And that's how I've been beating this challenge every single time, and it works something just like that, guys. Use that final headhunter on those final few kings, use those final freezes and invis on that final uh, section right through there, and you'll crush this base every single time and be rewarded with 400 experience and a builder potion. Those builder potions are clutch, guys. And take a look at the brand new Primal Royal Champion. I kind of like this. This might be the best of the Primal skins. And she's got like a little like bird slash like eagle headdress there along with like a turtle shield i'm a big fan of turtles so maybe that's what's doing it for me this is probably the best of the primal skins and it'll be available in the shop with the brand new primal scenery we'll take a quick glance at this one this one fits the primal theme guys if you're a fan of the primal skin honestly i like the look of these buildings if you're a fan of the primal skins you're gonna love this primal scenery it fits really cool like what is this like it's like stonehenge nether portal all in one there's like elixir up here with like a bear skin like our saber tooth tiger skin there's this looks like a giant like electro dragon crash here i i'm not sure that that looks really interesting though and then finally here on the right side we have the totem with what looks like hear no evil see no evil speak no evil goblin totem here on the right side hopefully this video was helpful for you guys if you do purchase those skins and scenery make sure you use code bash you guys have a great day keep on clash bash